Welcome to this edition of Make Do Tell by the Kansas City Public Library. My name is Megan and I work here at our central location. Did you know that we have a codes and ciphers kit for ages 8 to 12? You can pick it up at your nearest branch for free. It comes with this amazing invisible ink pen with a light, but if you run out of ink, if you want to experiment a little more, or if you missed out on the kit for whatever reason, we are going to be making invisible ink today. What you need is a piece of paper or two, because I messed up the first time or second time, a plate or something to keep your desk clean or wherever you're doing work, baking soda, which I do not have the bag pictured here, but you should be able to find it in your cupboard or in the baking section of the store. And grape juice as well, which I have over here and in this little cup. So as you can see, we have two cups. Firstly, I mixed about a tablespoon of baking soda with about a tablespoon of water, equal parts. You can experiment with different levels of water with different levels of baking soda to get sort of an ink that you like because this will be the ink. And then I have a cup of grape juice as well. Concentrated grape juice will work as well and that can be found in the freezer aisle of a grocery store. So firstly, we are going to take our cup of equal parts water, equal parts baking soda, and I am going to start writing a secret message on this paper. Okay, I'll just go for it. Secret messages were not only used in spy books or spy movies, they also have practical use. Some people from the Revolutionary War used invisible ink and they would write a little F in the corner or a C and if it had an F in the corner that means you could reveal the message with a flame. If it had a C in the corner that means you need to use chemicals like what we're doing today. There's also a really cool guy several centuries ago that would write messages on hard-boiled eggs and you could not reveal them until you peeled the egg itself. So they do have practical uses in real life as well. All right. Once you are done with writing your secret message, we need to air it out. I like to fan it. It will take a while, maybe a couple of minutes. So be prepared to be a little bit patient before you try to reveal the message. Otherwise, you can see it shows up a little bit right now. And we want the message to be secret, not wet and darker. And I'll also, sure. I don't know how to. <laughs> so fast forward to about five to 10 minutes later. It took a little bit longer to dry than expected, but that happens. And so now that it's pretty much completely dry, if you can see the paper is still a little crinkled, but you can't see much darkness. So now, we are going to paint our grape juice, which will hopefully reveal the secret message, which will be not so secret anymore. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to, I just dipped it in the grape juice and now I'm just painting it right over the paper. As you can see, there's a little bit revealing right now. You can start to pick out the letters. Okay, yeah, and as I'm painting, I am seeing darkness in this area, and it's actually turning the grape juice a little bit of a different color. Alrighty, can you read my message? <laughs> it just says read, that's all. And that's what we love here at the library. Reading about experiments, reading about all these amazing things that we have over in our children's section here at Central, in any children's section at one of our many branches in the public library. And that's why I've picked out this amazing book. It's called The 101 coolest simple science experiments 
written by Rachel Miller, Holly Homer, and Jamie Harrington. The cover actually glows in the dark, which is really awesome. And in here, you can find several different science experiments, lots of chemistry. There's also a recipe for invisible ink that we tried earlier, and they also have a mess meter. It's very nice. It's a very low mess meter, so it will make your parents happy. It surely made me happy. But anyways, we tried the invisible ink recipe with lemon juice and a microwave, and we actually burnt the paper. Do you see any ink here? I surely don't. Uh, so see if you can actually get that experiment to work. Try with different juices as well. Grape juice seemed to reveal the ink fairly well, but surely you can try with other juices. And the main chemistry of what's going on here is an acid-base reaction. So here we have baking soda, which is a base, and grape juice, which is an acid. So once the baking soda dries on the paper, baking soda crystals are left there. Then when we put the grape juice on top, the grape juice touches the baking soda and will turn a different color due to the acid-base reaction. You can learn about other forms of chemistry and different sorts of reactions through books like this, Science Experiments, or other books in our library. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Make Do Tell at the Kansas City Public Library. Make sure to like and subscribe down below.